Okay, hello, good morning. As you can tell, I'm still at home. My last video was in fact a moving vlog, but obviously I'm, I'm still at home. My next video is gonna be like a follow-up moving vlog because I didn't wanna film the two moving vlogs back to back because I wanna like settle in my new place first. I mean, obviously I'm still home, so we move. But by the time you're watching this, I will have actually moved. Did I just say we move? <laughs> but anyway, I am gonna film a what I eat in a day today. I should really go and make my breakfast, but I'm just being really lazy. I've had two coffees already. Well, actually, this is decaf to be fair. I've had one coffee and I'm having a decaf now. Mm. I haven't filmed one of these in a while and I thought it would be fun too. Before I start, I just wanna say, obviously, I'm not suggesting everyone eat like this. This is not how I eat every single day. My appetite has gone down the past few months as I have said this so many times. This is not probably sound like a broken record, but yeah. So they are my three disclaimers before we get into the video. But I'm actually really hungry right now because yeah, it's about half 10 and I'm gonna go make breakfast. So, okay, so I'm feeling really lazy today. Are you surprised? You're not surprised. I'm always feeling lazy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so obviously for breakfast, I'm gonna have peanut butter and jam on toast. I feel a bit lost if I don't have it, to be honest. So this is how every single one of my white eating days would have started, unless I had yogurt, which is a bit of a rogue occurrence for me. But we have jam and we have peanut butter. So that is what I'm gonna have for breakfast. We love simplicity over here on this channel. But yeah, yeah, so I'm feeling quite lazy. I don't really know what the rest of my food intake is gonna entail. It's not gonna be particularly extravagant not that it ever is who am i kidding so on top of my toast i am going to be using this peanut butter which is my vegan who are kindly sponsoring this video and who i am currently working with so they are a supplement type brand but they do things like peanut butter chia seeds cookies which i will have later so we'll get onto those later just loads of different things and obviously they are all vegan so i have been having this peanut butter every day for the past while it's a it's a, it's a large amount of peanut butter let's be real this is a big chunk but we're getting we're getting through it but so i I'm currently working with my vegan. I also use their supplements. So I have their vitamin B12 spray, which I use every day, which I haven't actually used today, but I will. Actually tastes so bomb. It's apricot flavor. So I've been having this every day. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I have <coughs> B vitamins very regularly. And if you're vegan, if you're not vegan as well, B12 is recommended. But if you're vegan in particular, then I would recommend taking a B12 supplement. So as I'm currently working with them, if you use code Helena, which I will leave, well, I don't even need to leave it. It's just Helena. Uh, you can get 35% off at checkout. I've also got a link in the description. So if you stop, so if you shop through my link, which I've linked in the description, then I will get money off your purchase. However, it won't cost you anything else. So if you want to support that, I would be very grateful, but obviously do not feel obliged to. But if you'd like to get any of the things, I will leave them in the description. And yeah. Mm. Nice and thick, you know? <laughs> also, look up. I think this is really thick toast. Maybe it's not. Maybe maybe it's actually not at all. It feels quite thick. I think usually we get like a thick... Maybe this is. Maybe this is a lot thickly sliced. Yeah, so as I've said, and my appetite's been really low, I've been trying to like eat more of the things that I really enjoy. So like peanut butter and jam, I've got into a routine of having because... I know I can have it and I feel fine when I do so because some things at the moment are making me feel quite sick because of <sighs> because of my anxiety which I have spoken about in so many videos I sound like a broken record well wow. and also this jam is homemade it is going everywhere well wow. yeah so sorry so I've been trying to eat a lot more of foods that I enjoy and that's what we're doing at the moment we're eating for mental health so anyway just, just hit you know they're all the right places. Mm. Get their bread, get their head, then leave. Peace out. Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna go have this and do some work, and I will see you when I have something else. Okay. Ow. Ooh. Okay, quickly before I go, I just found some orange juice, so I'm also gonna have some orange juice with it. Oh my god, orange juice. <laughs> and now I can see you. Right. <laughs> Um, okay, so for lunch, I am going to be real. I said this at the beginning that I'm feeling really lazy. So for lunch, the other day I ordered a Chinese and so I'm having leftovers. But do you want to know something really irritating? Is that it's just like half frozen. It's not going to be making that noise. It's just really froze. <laughs> I actually had loads of other things in this Chinese, but I ate all of them yesterday. But I have loads of noodles left over. So I'm going to have leftover noodles. And also I'm going to have... Oh, okay, well... Oh god. This looks really gross. I'm not actually going to show it to you, but it's basically the Linda McCartney duck. I've frozen, well, that it comes frozen, but I've frozen it and been putting it here. Put it I'm not even making sense, I don't think I am, but I'm going to have that with it. And then I'm also going to chop up some spring onions and have them with it because I think I need something a little bit green. And then I'm going to have it with some hoisin sauce because hoisin sauce is. 
just so good. Yeah, so I don't really know if I should, how I'm, because this is all frozen. Like, it's literally just freaking frozen. You can't even really see what I'm there. These are just rice noodles, by the way. Yummers. Now, this looks so bad. I hope no carnivores come across this channel right now because this looks shocking and I'm going to get hated for it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I tried to make it look quite aesthetic with the whole spring onion thing, but it's just like really not in any way. So I'm just going to just smother it with this with some sauce and just hope that all is well. Oh, damn. Look at her. Oh, that was hot. <laughs> So, let's give this a try. <laughs> this isn't what you thought you'd be looking at when you clicked on vegan, what I eat in a day. It's what it is. So bloody good. Yum. Mm, mm. Okay, so it's now about four. I look so tired and weird today, but I've got a sty in my eye forming. Um, and so this side of my face is a little bit... She's a bit, she's interesting, which is why it looked like I'm really upset. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it's about four and I am hungry. So I'm gonna have one of these. Now these, what I was talking about earlier with my vegan, these cookies, I've had one of these cookies every single day for the past long time. I just love them. So this is what I'm gonna have as a snack. Um, I don't really have too much else to say other than um, I'm having this as a snack. I don't feel too well to be fair. <laughs> feel a little bit sick, but we're powering through today and the lighting is so bad that i am a mess <laughs> i'm gonna have one of these cookies i'm gonna do some more work i'm probably gonna lay down and continue packing and yeah. oh so I'm saying my wardrobe now, if you couldn't tell. God, this side of my face just looks a bit... But I have just made dinner and I'm just saying my wardrobe just for a sec to show you what I've had dinner. Had, for di had dinner? English. Before I actually could actually go like go sit down and eat it, but I kind of wanted to show it to you because I was making it and my parents were watching TV and so I didn't want to be like, oh, hi everyone. So here is my dinner. I'm actually pretty, <laughs> pretty proud of myself for actually making a solid good meal. This is, in a previous video I spoke about how my eating habits don't change or like I don't change the type of foods I eat based on camera. However, I do think subconsciously the impact of filming, I think that there are probably loads of studies on this, the impact of filming definitely subconsciously alters what you eat. So anyway, um, I don't think what I was trying to say there really came through but basically what I meant by that little comment was that I think that when you have a camera in front of you you subconsciously are going to alter sort of your eating patterns just because you're sort of reminded to eat or reminded to eat certain times of the day if that makes any sense so I've said in the past that I don't alter my eating patterns based on the camera and I don't however I do think subconsciously it reminds me to like make a full meal for dinner that kind of thing whereas some days i have some days i have a full dinner some days i'll just have loads of snacks i mean obviously i'd prefer to have a full dinner all the time but it's just down to my appetite and everything that's going on at the moment so that is what i mean by that so the the camera itself triggered the subconscious to make me want to eat the dinner does that make sense i don't even think i'm buzz makes sense but that's what i meant by that comment so Long story short, I'm pretty proud of myself for actually making myself a fully fledged dinner today. And it looks so poppin'. I've got roasted cauliflower, which I actually did burn a little bit. Oh, it's really good. Roasted cauliflower, roasted chickpeas, peas, and like a little bean burger type thing. Not ideal, I, I rather, personally with, with burgers, I prefer like a meaty burger. Whereas this is kind of actually just like a vegetable patty, which is not ideal, but... Oh well. So the roasted cauliflower and the roasted chickpeas, I basically just put them in garlic in the oven for like 40 minutes. Jobs are good in. And yes, I'm going to have this, obviously with loads of ketchup and mayonnaise. In one of my last videos, someone was like, she puts ketchup with everything. You're not wrong. I love me some ketchup. But it's about 8.39 now. I am going to enjoy this. I'm not feeling particularly hungry. However, I'm trying to encourage my appetite by making things, but also eating things I like. Um, roasted cauliflower, let me tell you. Pops off. Anyway, this is what I'm gonna have for dinner. Okay, well, I'm just gonna put you down there. Hey, no! Nelly, it's focusing on you, not me. So, yeah, it's about 9, 9.30 ish. And I am gonna go to bed soon. For, like, dessert, I really fancy something refreshing because I don't know how, to, I don't know what I have to say because look at my style. Oh, she's thriving, she's growing. Anyway, so I'm gonna have this. Aren't we, Nelly? Because I saw someone else have it and then I realized I have it. Oh my god, I cut that so well. That was so satisfying. Look how satisfying that is. Mmm, yay, it's a good watermelon. The other day I had a water I had some watermelon and it was like really gross. 
Anyway, so I've got half water on here. So yeah, we're just gonna chill. We're just gonna chill out. I'm moving in a few days. Oh, I knew. I'm gonna end the video here. I feel like it was a bit chaotic, but I feel like I need to stop saying that after all my videos because they all are. So I need to like just stop apologizing for it really because it's just me my existence i'm gonna finish the video here i hope you have enjoyed it obviously it was a very lazy very non pitch picturesque is the word i was looking for vegan food day but to be honest none of mine ever, ever are so mm -hmm. like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you next one